Hey guys, this is the Maiden, the first run of the uh, Trexus Fortec 2.0 VXL uh, all-wheel drive chassis, and I have the Ford Mustang GT body mounted on it. Let's see what she can do. Now I kind of have to be real careful guys on the street because there is a lot of rocks and debris and the street's not a exact, exactly level in some areas. And the chassis on this thing is really, really low to the ground. Uh, I am running a 3S 5000 milliamp hour LiPo. The box says it's uh, capable of speed 70 plus miles an hour with the correct gearing. Uh, seems pretty possible. I mean, it's it's probably going about 50 right now. One thing I am noticing is that it does uh, it does spin out quite a bit. It does spin out quite a bit in turns and that's i'm sure that's due to the hard compound on the tires i mean these tires are really hard street tires uh, i hear those rocks hitting that body i gotta be careful the chassis on this car is probably maybe a quarter inch off the ground maybe i mean it's super low to the ground But as you can see, pretty fast. I did have to make some trim adjustments out of the box. I mean, cause this thing was really wanting to pull left, like really bad. So I've got my steering trim almost all the way to the right. TSM is at 50%. See if I can't get a real uh, quick pass here. And it has a real distinctive sound to it. Sounds quite a bit different than any other Traxxas vehicle I've ever had. Kind of sounds like a car <laughs> in a way. That's pretty cool. Now earlier, uh, let's see, when I was driving it, I drove it out here just to give it one quick pass, make sure everything was operational. And I hit one little pebble and this thing went flying. So I really gotta watch out. As you can see, there's all this, these little rocks and gravel and debris and stuff in the street. This is uh, definitely meant for some smooth pavement, maybe a parking lot. I mean, it won't even move in the grass and that's, you know, that makes sense because it's so low and the wheels and all, they're all slick and they're made out of a hard compound. So unless you change the tires, you ain't gonna be going in no grass. Oh, see what I mean about the street not being level? Fun little car though, guys. Pretty fast out of the box. I don't know if it can hang with the bandit out of the box, but hopefully we're not damaging that chassis too bad. Let's take a look. We've got some rocks in there, quite a bit of gravel, but the body looks okay. The bodies on these are kind of kind of pricey. 
this Ford GT or the Ford Mustang GT body was about $75 at the RC shop. I'm pretty sure the GTs are going for about the same. They didn't have any GTs, so they're sold out, but I'm going to get one. I think it'll look a whole lot better with a GT body on it. I don't mind the Ford Mustang body though. It's pretty sweet looking. Ooh, there it goes, guys. Whew. See what I'm talking about? Well, at least I got it on video. Ooh, I scratched that body up pretty bad, too. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I told you guys, this thing is low to the ground. You, get, you have to be really, really careful. Yeah, that body's damaged pretty good. This is not the appropriate uh, spot to be driving this. There's just too much debris. And the street is just too uneven. Any little change in the terrain like that, at, high, at that kind of speed, is gonna send this thing into what you just saw. Might as well drive it like we stole it now. We've already done the damage. Might as well have fun. Just trying to be careful with it, but. Oh well. It's all part of the hobby, guys. Well, now I definitely got to get a Ford GT body now. That's what got me right there is that little bump right there. I like the way it drives though. I mean, for the most part, it drives pretty straight. You can really attain high speeds with this car, I'm sure, without it, you know, catching any air because it's so low and that chassis is pretty heavy. And like I said, I don't know if you guys can see it. You see how low that chassis is to the ground there? I mean, any slight change in terrain, even a pebble, of a, you know the right size rock you run that over and it's over with it's fun to drive though i give it that All right, guys, I guess we'll end the video here. That's kind of a bummer that I bashed the body up on the first run, but hey, it's all part of the hobby, right? Can always get another body. Comes with the territory. I'll probably do another run video of this, guys. I'll change the gearing out. So we can see what kind of speeds we can get and I'll take it to a better location because this street right here like I said it's uneven and there's just too much debris so anyway guys this was the maiden run of the Traxxas Fortec 2.0 VXL all-wheel drive appreciate you watching if you like my content be sure to uh, like comment and subscribe it really helps me out and we'll see you guys next time